What happens when the lines of warfare blur and innocent lives are caught in the crossfire? This is a question that has been thrown into sharp relief by the recent hostage situation in Israel. A crisis that has gripped the world's attention. Let's rewind the clock to October 7th, 2023. Hamas fighters staged a brazen attack on Israeli soil, taking more than 200 hostages. This shocking event was the beginning of a hostage crisis that has stretched on for weeks with the fate of the captives hanging in the balance. In the wake of the attack, information trickled out in a slow, agonizing drip. The hostages, we learned, were scattered across the densely populated Gaza Strip, possibly hidden in underground tunnels and booby-trapped buildings. As the Israeli military pounded Gaza in retaliation, the hostages' plight became even more precarious. The stakes were further raised when Hamas issued a chilling ultimatum. For every Israeli bombing of civilian targets, a hostage would be killed. One figure stepped forward in a bold attempt to defuse the situation. The Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Cardinal Pierbatista Pizzabala, offered himself in exchange for the child hostages held by Hamas. His offer, however, remained unanswered as the crisis deepened. Fast forward to today, November 22, 2023. After intense negotiations mediated by Qatar, Israel's government and Hamas have agreed to a four-day pause in fighting. This pause will allow for the release of 50 hostages held in Gaza in exchange for 150 Palestinians imprisoned in Israel, as well as the entry of humanitarian aid into the besieged enclave. It's a complex deal, fraught with tension and uncertainty. The truce will be extended by a day for every additional 10 hostages released. The first release of hostages is expected to occur tomorrow, but the deal must wait for 24 hours to give Israeli citizens the chance to ask the Supreme Court to block the release of Palestinian prisoners. Meanwhile, the humanitarian situation in Gaza remains dire. The war has left about two-thirds of its 2.3 million people homeless, according to authorities in Gaza. The pause in fighting will facilitate the delivery of much-needed humanitarian aid to the region. This is a fragile moment, a pause in a storm that has caused untold suffering and loss. The implications of this hostage crisis are vast, touching on issues of international diplomacy, human rights and the rules of warfare. As we watch this situation unfold, we are reminded of the human cost of conflict and the urgent need for solutions that prioritize the safety and dignity of all people.